What's going on guys? Eric here with driverlineup.com, World's Okay Steering Wheel Holder, hanging out at the quietest, quietest place I think I've ever parked. <clears throat> so I've said it before, one of my favorite places to park is way stations. And this is why. <clears throat> Look at this. This is the only truck here at one in the morning. That, I'm not gonna say where this way station is, but this is one of my favorites by far. I've parked here probably 50 times because it almost always looks like this and it's never open. Love this way station. <laughs> so uh, yeah, some of them are really busy and not as quiet, but this one is almost always like this. No other trucks, maybe occasionally like a FedEx truck or a double that would park right here. Um, but right now, one o'clock in the morning, we're the only truck here and it's amazing. I'm going to stop for a couple hours nap. Got time. <clears throat> we scored a mega killer load for a yard load, an excellent load. Now it's heavy as hell. This thing is set. We're at 79,000 pounds gross. Um, but there was one thing that I... I figured we'll call outbound at Prime in Springfield for a load because this evening, because there should be really good freight there because there's a Highway Diamonds banquet or was last night. Um, so I figured there should be last night being Saturday night. It's now Sunday morning. I figured there should be a lot of freight there. Turns out I was right. I was able to say, I was kind of just joking with the guy. <clears throat> Here comes another truck. So we got another one pulling in. See, he's got an extended cab. It's a FedEx truck, I told you. Extended cab, needs a big place to park. It's a perfect place for him. Anyway, uh, I was kind of just joking with the guy at Outbound. I can't remember what his name was. But I said, hey, uh, what are the chances I could get something going to Ohio or PA that pays over $2 a mile? See, he's probably he's going to go park on the shoulder. So we still get it by ourselves. Um, kind of just laughing about it and uh, you know so like Ohio or PA over two dollars a mile <laughs> and he says well which would you rather to go to I got Ohio for two dollars a mile or PA for 250 a mile and he's going to Scranton so uh, and I need to get a quick shop visit so I was like yes absolutely Scranton 250 a mile is an amazing load delivers Monday morning I gotta get into the shop could have could have gotten into the shop at Prime a day or two later, uh, which didn't work for me. We we've got uh, we've got an air leak that I've identified the source of, and uh, I'm not really sure what's causing it, but it's at the tank. There's the little uh, shutoff valve where when it reaches a certain pressure, that valve kind of comes out a little bit and you hear that little psh, you know when it gets up to the like 125 or so psi you'll hear that psh happen well at that point of the tank there's a cable that's attached to it to keep that fitting from flying off or something that cable has gotten so tight that when the governor when it, the shutoff sometimes when it comes out it keeps it out a little bit so air just gushes out of there well, I figured out how to push that in and keep it from keep it from the air from flowing out, but it occasionally comes out a little bit and it's, you know, it's safe to run down the road. It's not losing pressure down the road, but sometimes when I park and the truck shifts and the chassis kind of flexes, like if it's on a hill or something, it's just enough to pull it to, uh, you know, keep the tank pressurized. <clears throat> so but I didn't want to go to Prime or to the shop in Springfield when we discovered this because we would have had to wait a day or two before we could get into the shop. Like they won't just take you right in. Peterbilt was obviously closed for the weekend. So <clears throat> it worked out for this load to go to Scranton Monday morning at seven in the morning. And then because I know right where the air leak is happening, which 
really frustrates me that Prime fixed six or seven air leaks uh, <clears throat> back when I first told them I was having an air problem and they couldn't identify this. It is extremely obvious when it's happening. Um, and I found it, you know, really quick. I had to get down underneath the truck, but I found it really quick. So this could have been fixed a long time ago, but because I know where it's at, where I know, I know where it's happening. I know what's happening. I don't know why it's happening, but I know what's happening. I know how to stop it with my hands for long enough, you know, to, like it won't happen all night tonight. It won't happen tomorrow, but it's some random, I'll just pull up on a speed bump or something and it'll just pull that little cable that's holding it, keeping it from flying off and it'll loosen it up. So that's, so I should be able to hopefully go in Monday and be like, it's right there. That's where it is. And it should be a really quick fix. Um, so that's my hope with that. And that's why it works out to get paid 250 a mile, 2,500 bucks for a thousand miles um, for a load off the yard going to Scranton, PA. <clears throat> and Brad is up and running. He got a killer load out of uh, Oregon that paid $2 a mile. So his truck is running. Um, so both trucks are running, making good money, running good freight. Uh, things are good. So anyway, I haven't made a, I haven't made a video at a, in the middle of the night at a rest area or a way station in a long time. Figured I'd give you guys a quick update. <laughs> Had some great conversations through the drive with the Reverend River Rich, congratulations to him. He's on his way to Pittston. He'll be there tomorrow night starting his prime journey. Uh, I talked to Hopper tonight. He may have some transition uh, transmission problems, not ideal, but uh, it's good to be back on the road. We don't get to stay out on the road very long this time because as per the usual the last couple times, we have to be back in Springfield. We have a driver advisory board meeting on the seventh which means we're only going to get to run for a week and then have to go back and then we have another doctor's appointment on the 28th so might get to run three weeks at most when we leave this next time so it's just crazy to have to keep going back to springfield but that is what it is uh, but in some of these conversations that were happening uh, tonight everybody's saying it's weird that it's this cold this early and everybody's kind of freaked out for winter so be curious to know your thoughts but it is kind of seems like the whole country's cooled down really early this year um springfield we had to leave our heat heater on because next week the high is like in the low 40s um so the temperature is going to be freezing almost every night i think next week in springfield and it's not even november yet so we may be running some loads to Florida this week or this winter just to get into some t-shirt weather here and there. So <clears throat> those were some interesting conversations. What else? It's been a couple days since I've done a video uh, on the road. Oh, another thing. So pretty sure that I've locked down the student that I'm going to take in TNT at the beginning of next year. Um, some up, updates on that coming, but I'm really excited about it. Uh, there was one individual that I wanted to, to work with, someone I've known for a long time, but I just don't think it's gonna pan out for him. But I had a conversation with someone else this evening um, that I'm really, really thinking this individual is going to be a great student to take for PSD and TNT. Um, so some updates may be coming on that uh, here in the next couple of weeks. So anyway, just want to let you guys know we're back out on the road, running and gunning again, but only for a week. Uh, air leak source has been identified and I'm about to take a nap here at this amazing quiet look at this we have the whole place to ourselves i don't know why you guys don't like parking at way stations i know that they don't have facilities but if you only need to park for three five six hours man this is where it's at you will get the quietest sleep in a place like this love it
freaking love it. Anyway, be safe, you guys. Make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you soon.